When you become a stand-up comedian, you tell your parents, I think I want to be a comic. And they're ashamed of you. <laughs> and that's correct. <laughs> and then you headline like one or two shows and your parents start to tell a few choice people. And then you get on TV once and they tell freaking everybody. <laughs> and they want to take credit for it. Like they were there supporting instead of just <laughs> 10 years of consecutive hating. My dad, everywhere he goes, he's like, oh, my son, stand-up comedian, Pfft. gets a sense of humor from me. <laughs> Taught him everything I know. I'm like, dad, literally the only funny thing I've ever seen you do is have your fly down for the last 15 years in a row. Like, that's exclusively it. <laughs> which, which admittedly is a very funny long con. We're all trying to see what you, what you do with that. I realized recently I get my sense of humor from my mother. Here's how I realized it. I needed to know my suit jacket size. I never wear suits. So I called my mom up. I was like, Mom, I need a favor. Go into my childhood bedroom, go into the closet, find my old sports coat, and tell me what size it is. And my mom goes, why? Are you buying a suit for my funeral? I was like, Jesus. That's a morbid curveball, Mom. But that's all right. I'm a ball player. I'll swing at that. So I was just like, Mom. I would never wear a suit to your funeral. <laughs> and she didn't even flinch. She just fired back. She goes, yeah, because you could finally wear that dress. <laughs> wow. wow, well played. Well played. Sweet diss. So I just put on a fresh coat of lipstick, went for a long walk in the rain. <laughs> Eventually, I fell asleep in a field behind a Kohl's. That's how that joke ends. That's how that joke has to end. Learned something interesting recently. Did you know the average human being every day has up to 19 small but significant seizures? Isn't that crazy? And even though that's not true at all, <laughs> just saying it out loud on stage night after night helps me feel better about what I think might be a pretty serious problem that I have. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know about that. I don't know if anyone's a doctor. I've just been talking to the Walgreens pharmacist about it. We're getting nowhere. <laughs> I recently had the opportunity to teach a class on stand-up comedy, kind of like I've been doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> it was at a school for the performing arts, and they had me in to talk about dick jokes, because that's how your tax dollars work. I don't get it. I don't get it. And so for the most part, I had them listen to albums of my favorite comedians, I had them write like Dave Letterman top 10 lists so they get good at writing punchlines. And on the last day, I surprised them. I brought in a mic and a mic stand and a PA. And I was like, guess what, you guys? Stand-up comedy is happening in class today. <laughs> and all the 18-year-old boys in the class were like, what are you talking about, dude? This isn't stand-up comedy. There's like 15 people in this room and we know everybody. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, welcome to stand-up comedy. <laughs> get used to exactly this forever and ever and ever. So they all got up there. They told their 18-year-old boy bro jokes. They were terrible. I hated them. <laughs> and then this 14-year-old girl got up to tell a joke. And she hadn't said much the entire week. She was very quiet, a meek little girl. She got up to tell a joke. Here's the joke that she did. She put the mic in the mic stand. She cleared her throat. She went, <clears throat> Canadians. <laughs> Give them an inch, they'll take 2.54 centimeters. <laughs> I was like, what did you just say? You are the chosen one. You've been prophesied. The elders sing songs about you. I was like, that joke's incredible. That joke's so good, I wish I wrote that joke. Can I, like, have that joke? And she was like, well, I thought that comedians are supposed to, like, write their own material, right? And I was like, here's the truth of the matter. You have about four years to give an allowed around a bar to perform stand-up comedy. I'm doing Conan tomorrow. <laughs> I'm taking that joke. Welcome to stand-up comedy. Race you to TV, bitch! Thanks for listening to my jokes, everybody. I appreciate it. That's fine. Hey, that was great. Thank you. That's you did fine. the right thing. Yes. I'm Caden Holland. Very fun.